All right, let's do some theory for fun. So here we have a machine and we have some basic questions about it. So the first question is, is this machine a valid DFA? Well, let's look at it. So to be a DFA, what we need is that every single one of the states has a transition on each of the input characters. So let's see, does the DFA have a transition on each of the valid input characters? Well, let's see, Q0 has a transition, a self loop on input A, has a transition on B, so Q0 looks good. Q1 has a transition on A and one on B, so it looks good. Q2 has a transition on A and one on B, so it looks good. Q3 has a transition on A and one on B, so it looks good. However, suppose that the input alphabet sigma is instead A, B, and C. Well, none of the states here have a transition on input C, so it wouldn't be a valid DFA. Therefore, the answer to this question of whether it's valid is yes, if, so it, the big if here, if the input alphabet sigma is the, is the set A, B. So in this case, it is a valid DFA. So it's important to, whenever you're specifying a DFA, not just to appeal to the picture, but also to specify all of the formal pieces of the DFA. So speaking of formal pieces, let's answer some of the other questions. So what is the start state of this DFA? Well, in this case, we just have to find wherever there's an arrow coming from nowhere in this machine, which happens to be Q0 in this case. So the answer to this question is Q0. What is delta of Q0 with A? So remember what delta means. Delta represents the transition function of the DFA. So it says, what state do we go to starting from Q0 reading an input A? Well, if we look at this picture, all that we need to do is just find where the arrow goes. So if we're in Q0 and we follow the transition labeled A coming out of Q0, well, we see that there's a self loop right here at Q0. So we can confidently say that the state we end up in is Q0. Okay, so now let's look at this question. What is Q? So capital Q is, remember, the set of states in the DFA. So what are the states in here? Well, it's everything with a circle. Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3. So the set of states is the set containing Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3. And what is F? F, remember, is the set of final states. So which guys are final states here? It's all of the states that have a double circle, which in this case is Q0 and Q3. So we can confidently say that F is the set containing Q0 and Q3. And the final question about this DFA is, what state are we in after reading the input A, A, B, B, A, B? Hmm, so how can we figure that out? Well, let's see. We always will start in the start state, which is Q0, which is the question that we had earlier. So we're in Q0 right now. And what we do is we follow 
the transitions one at a time and, and then just record what the state we're in at the end is. So Q0, we begin A, we come back to Q0 because that's what the previous question had. So after being in Q0, so by this I mean we start in Q0, and then after we read the first A, we're in Q0 again. And because it's a DFA, the next A is still going to have us be in Q0. Well, let's see. Q0 reading a B, well, that takes us over to Q1. So let's record that. Q1 reading a B now takes us down to Q3. Q3 reading an A takes us over to Q2. And finally, Q2 reading a B takes us back to Q0. And since the input is now exhausted, the final state that we are in is Q0. And those are some basic questions about this DFA.